Have you ever sensed an invisible thread tying your heart to someone, wondering why the relationship is both comforting and causing you pain? If you have, then you may have been in a trauma bond with someone. Hi, I'm Jess Thompson, psychotherapist and clinical director at the Optimum Health Clinic. In this video, I'll be talking about trauma bonds in relationships. What this is, how to recognise it, and how to take the steps to break free. This is important as this type of relationship can impact mental, physical and emotional health. So what is a trauma bond? It's when someone forms an intense emotional connection to a person who causes them fear and harm. A trauma bond does not mean you're bonding with someone over shared trauma. That can be a good thing. The word bond in this context means bonded together in the same way as glue bonds things together. In the case of a trauma bond, the glue is actually fear. This type of bond is not easy to break, but it is possible. How do you know if you are in a trauma bond? So here are the four key signs to watch out for. Number one, you have a dependence and deep emotional connection to someone who causes you harm. The second sign of a trauma bond is you're always tuned into how they are feeling and are fearful of their reactions, moods and responses to you and you fear the outcome of disappointing them. Number three, everything's always your fault. The person can't take responsibility for their behaviour and instead are hypercritical of you. Another key sign of a trauma bond is that you either keep these patterns a secret or always make excuses for their behaviour defending and justifying why they behave in the way they do, perhaps also pointing out how good they are to you. Now that we've explored the signs of a trauma bond, take a moment to reflect on your own experiences. Have you recognised any of these patterns in your relationships? Understanding the signs is crucial and breaking free is a process. Let's delve into why it's challenging and how you can overcome it. Before we get to the how, let's take a look at the why. Why is it so hard to break the bond? Remember, the glue is fear. The fear you feel makes you vulnerable to manipulation. Fear motivates the approval-seeking behaviour, as at some level, you think that if you could just say things right and do things right, you'll earn the approval, love and safety that you're seeking. And of course, sometimes you do receive what looks like love, often in the form of what's known as love bombing where the person showers you with love and affection. This has a powerful impact on you physically as hormones can be powerful reinforcers. Apologies, gifts or physical affection offered by the manipulative person serve as rewards that help reinforce the rush of relief and trigger the release of dopamine. Dopamine is a hormone indicated in addictive behaviours because it feels so good we want more of it. Physical affection or intimacy also leads to the release of oxytocin, another feel-good hormone that can further strengthen these bonds. Trauma bond relationships aren't only of the romantic kind. They can also exist between a parent and child, basically any relationship where there's an imbalance of power that can be exploited and where the stress response called fawning or people-pleasing is playing out. Now let's examine things more closely. Take a moment to think about the last argument, disagreement or explosion that's occurred with this person. There will be a pattern. For example, something happens, despite how hard you're trying to get it all right and please this person, they explode. During the explosion, whatever the cause, they blame you for what's happened and for how they feel. They somehow make it all your fault. As a result, you try harder to please them to make it all okay, which works until the next time. You find yourself defending and justifying their explosive behaviour, sometimes even keeping it a secret. And then the cycle repeats, walking on eggshells, solely focused on pleasing them, neglecting your own needs and feelings, driven by fear and the desire to keep the good times. Now you know why it's hard to break free, let's look at how you can do this. When we're in a state of fear, we lose connection with our logical, rational, problem-solving abilities. The part of the brain capable of this type of analysis and fact gathering is offline. Imagine your brain in two parts. There's the logical, rational, problem-solving part. And there's the limbic system, the part of the brain that houses the fear center. 
When you're in a calm state, these parts of the brain are connected. Imagine a drawbridge connecting them. But when you go into a stress state, the drawbridge goes up, leaving you unable to use the vital resources of the thinking brain. So the first step is to work on resetting your nervous system into a calm state. So the drawbridge goes down and you can access these resources again. Once you've settled the nervous system, you can take a step back and analyze the relationship without the fear. It can be helpful to pretend the event happened in a book or a film you're reading or watching to help you get the detachment needed for accurate analysis. So let's do that. Return your mind to the most recent argument or explosion again. Imagine it's in a book or a film and ask yourself some questions. Would someone who loves me treat me in this way? How much of this recent experience is actually a repeat of something that a person has promised in the past they would never do again? Was any of it actually your fault? And what would the title of the book or film be? Start thinking in this factual way about more of the occasions when the patterns played out. Gather the evidence, the data, the facts, and using your calm, rational brain, ask yourself, do I want to carry on always focusing on how they feel instead of how I feel? Do I want to keep on taking the blame for things that aren't my fault? Do I want to keep excusing and justifying the way they treat me? Are you aware of any of these manipulative tactics being used in your relationship? And do you find it challenging to break free from their influence? Sharing your thoughts and feelings in the comments can be valuable for those who might be navigating similar situations. If you'd like help and support to learn how to take the steps to reset the nervous system, access your own wisdom and inner resources, and break free from a trauma bond, visit the Optimum Health Clinic website to find out more about our frameworks and protocols for resetting the nervous system and request a free information pack.